Tulsi, is there hope? How do we find our way through? Because it's really dark and it's hard to see the light sometimes. The hope for our future is in every one of our hearts and in our hands and in our voices. Sounds like a flowery statement, but it is the truth. That when you look back at the vision that our founders had for our country of a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, they were talking to us. There's no powerful entity in Washington that's gonna come and save the day for us. I guarantee that. There's no powerful entity, singular entity, anywhere in this country that will come in and save the day for us. So the work that you're doing here, you know this, the work that you're doing here is so important because it may not make the national news, but it matters because this is where it starts and this is where it ends a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. I, I experienced a lot of toxicity, the, the worst, darkest underbelly of American politics when I ran for president. I'll save that for another day. But every single day, what kept me inspired and hopeful were the people that I got to meet in small towns and big cities all across the country. People who came from all different uh, ends of the political spectrum but people who came together because they cared as you do for this country and our future and who wanted to do something about it. Every one of us has our own sphere of influence and impact and power, whether we realize it or not. Anyone who says, well, I'm just me. Like, I don't, nobody's asking me to go give a speech. Nobody's asking me to go on TV. What can I do? And I tell people, look, open your phone. How many people do you have in your phone? How many people do you have friends on Facebook? Stop and think for a moment about how many people are in your world that you have the opportunity to connect with and to influence and inform and engage with who can then go and do the same with others. Time is of the essence. Our country is under attack. Our democracy is under attack but it's not coming from another country, it is coming from within. And if we hope to have a future, if we hope for our children and grandchildren to be able to live in a country that is free, we have to take action. It's on us.